Alright, this is Melfa See That, and today is a haul and update video. Now it's been a few weeks since my last video, and I am trying to finish the rest of my Anime Expo 2013 playlist, but I have not yet. And the noise you're hearing in the background is my AC, and I'm watching the premiere episode of Stan Lee's Fangasm on the Sci-Fi Channel. But today, so that's it for updates. Now it's on to the haul. Good. Haul's always good. So first off, I went to the mall. Obviously, they've changed some stuff around, so yeah. So, uh, there's like two, three, well, there used to be two, now there's three Japanese shops in the mall, so, yeah. So I got this, the, um, the Red Ranger mask collection, which is a spin-off from the Kamen Rider mask, which features some Gorenja, all the way down to Mask Man for the first set, which is awesome. It cost me roughly nine dollars. So check out the review later. Next is what I got from Book Off, which is for some reason also in Japanese. I don't know why. It wasn't Japanese later. But The first one is the big book that I got for nine dollars, and this is Marvel. A fabulous five fabulous decades of the world's greatest comics by Les Daniels, with introduction by Stan Lee. It's awesome. And See, so 1939 is the year, so it's 1989. So here's Les Daniels standing near everyone, and there's like some comics and introductions, and it's so awesome. So as with most of the books that I say I'll review, um, there will be an individual video about it, because it's a compilation. Next one is Stan Lee's The Flash. This is part of the mini series in which Stan Lee redesigned some uh, DC characters like Batman and Superman. And this one is The Flash, which obviously, as you can tell, is a girl in here. It's always so interesting. And the next one is. DC. So, Marvel, Bridge, DC. This is Grant Morrison's and Tony S. Daniels' Batman Rip, which I've heard was a great story. And the Black Glove, 850, and the other Batman story, which is a more recent one, prelude to the New 52, Batman and Son, which has shows Damien Wade. For the first time, so yeah. And one last thing for this rather short dating view, which is good. That's something I got in the mail. A uh, 14.5 inch lava lamp. So purple wax blue liquid is gonna look awesome. And it comes with the light bulb, so I do is. Get rid take this off and show it like so yeah I might include a picture of this at the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> see you guys later, I gotta finish watching my episode, so I will see you guys later. Alright you guys, this is the review of the 
Super Sentai Red Ranger Masks Volume 1. So from here it has Aka Red, Red Ace, Battle of Japan. I believe this is I think this might be no this is Denji Red, this is Sun this is Vulcan Red. Don't remember him. Didn't really watch the series. This is I know this is Dyna Red. This is Bio Red. Change Dragon. This is Flash and Red. This is the Mask Men's Red Ranger. So there's 11 masks you can get from this uh, series. And it comes with its own special base with the logo on it, I believe. On the back, it's just like simple warning instructions, telephone numbers, a toy symbol, and how to assemble it. Bottom, same thing up here is Shill's Sun Vulcan Red and this guy. I, I'm pretty sure it's not Bio from Bioman because that's way too early in the franchise. But I've already opened this, so I already know what it is. But it's it's going to be a surprise for you. And here's a mobile website for the mask. Just out of frame. Some white, but you can still see it. And here, this is uh, Battle Fever's J's Battle Japan, the equivalent of the Red Ranger. It's the third series in the franchise. Yeah. Right here, right here with the rest of his members. And Battle Fever J was the first series that had a humanoid mecha. Besides the other two series, the primary mecha was a flying jet. So this is probably a summary in the bio of it. The back shows off the mask. And here is the plate base with the logo Battle Fever J on it. And this, the base, this is similar to the common rider bases, but I'll, there's one difference which I'll show you later. First off, let's see the mask. It is separated into two pieces, the front half and the back half. And the front half is basically the bulk of it here, as you can see. So it looks all natural, the shape. When you attach them to these four points in the tabs, see that plugs in naturally to contour with the shape of it. It's very nice, and you see the the very humanoid shape, the lips, the chin, and the nose, and the segmented eyes. It's very common writer like the holes in so the actor can see through them. And you see, if you look right here, there's the hole for the top base, the tip of the base to enter. Just plug that on. Not too hard or else it splits off. Then here is Battle Japan. And, you should, and in a few seconds I will compare it to, Bat, to Kamen Rider 5's.
Okay, well, um, cannot find it. Uh, it's probably put away somewhere along with Kamen Rider Delta because of spring cleaning. But basically, Kamen Rider Fies, this part would light up, and when you press down, it would light up the the eyes. But this would be similar to Kamen Rider Delta, as, as in it does not have any light and sound. See on the bottom, this is where you put the batteries in, probably the on-off switch. This would press down on it, probably in this piece back here. I have no idea if this is any way different from the Kamen Rider release, but yeah. It's very nice. So this is Battle Japan, and I hope you see you soon.